It's been a great pleasure to come to Kingston University and talk about the 18th century, talk about 18th century literature and 18th century figures, and, and also to remember our history in this way through storytelling, but to link that with the academic side, the study of 18th century writing, 18th century um, figures, and 18th century art too. Everything seems to me to lie in Sancho um, the art world, the political world, the emotional world, the, the social world, and of course, um, the storytelling world, the, the world that he enjoyed so much, the theatrical world. Um, so it's been a pleasure, not only to be interrogated in ways that I wouldn't interrogate myself about the structure of the, sh of the, of the book, um, the way I present him, and also how we remember, the different forms of remembering, portraits, are a way of us remembering, statue, statues, etc. monuments are ways of remembering. But storytelling is my way of remembering and how those stories are told is so vital. And so to come to any university, but particularly this one, who, who, who really seems to know, really seems to know what Sancho represents is a real pleasure. And actually, I feel like I learn a lot, even as I share what I know. So our symposium has been about starting a conversation recognising that history doesn't just begin and end at a particular moment. And we've been joined today um, by a range of scholars, practitioners um, and people working in the cultural industry as well as staff and students who have been talking about those different peoples and places and their stories. And what Patterson Joseph did um, and ended our session, our event today, was that he talked about the life of Charles Ignatius Sancho to ensure that we keep telling the story of not just Ignatius Sancho, but of all those stories that have been hiding in plain sight.